Hey guys, Chris Bianca White for Realty Civic Center. It's Monday night training and we're gonna go over, tonight we are going over Conversion, which is our CRM, our uh, Client Retention Management software. Um, it's pretty complex. One of the things that I think um, a lot of the new agents get stifled with is, you know, understanding all these big websites. So uh, I started doing some training on that. You know, keep in mind a new agent has to come in and one of the things they gotta learn is the MLS software. And that website, another thing they got to learn for us is the Wiker website and all the tools and systems they have on that. And the third piece is the contact management software, which is absolutely dynamite. It's a game changer, so, and, but it's very complex. And to make sure that all of our agents know the tools and the systems that are available to them so they can take full advantage of it, uh, I'm going to do some training on it tonight. So here we go. <clears throat> all right, you guys. So here's the first thing that I look at when I, I look at on a weekly basis. And, this, and you're looking at the dashboard that the account manager has access to. And I'm constantly looking for the number of total leads that were added for the month. We have 3,081 leads added for the month, which is our biggest month in a while. So that's a great piece. A uh, big part of that, I will tell you, is Todd and Lindsay, myself, and also uh, Nelsie. Nelsie actually has almost 1,600 leads after three weeks of being you know, here. So she's really working hard at this thing. The second piece that I look at on this thing is I look at the number of calls that were outbound made, okay? And there's a little bit of a disconnect here for me as a manager because we should be having, you know, closer to, you know, we're adding leads, but we're not contacting them, and that's a point of concern for me, so I would be talking about that in probably Tuesday's morning. And meetings. I think probably the one piece with that, too, is we're making a crap ton of calls, but... You're not recording them. It's not through there. Yeah, so here's so I the thing. So I go on here and I get the number and I call and then I just put it in our notes that so-and-so called, da -da -da, right. this is a conversation. And I have talked to Todd about that, that you're not logging your calls in yeah. on those. And that could be problematic in the sense that if you're making a shit ton of calls, uh -huh. then you know, are you up to speed on what you said to Joe and what you said to Mary? So, right. so logging them in here would be a They're all in our notes, for right. sure. It's just the call isn't logged. Right, That's right, I get all that. And then, of course, one of the things that we're going to look at is how to schedule those calls and how to do those kinds of yeah. things. That's one of the pieces we're going to look at. So keep in mind, that's what I'm looking at. We should be closer to here than to there. And again, there are some reasons why we're not, and I understand mm -hmm. that you guys are making a lot of calls. I know that uh, when I talked to Todd about this last week or something, he had mentioned to me that he made over 90 calls, but none of them were logged. So right. this is going to be a lot more, mm -hmm. but because you guys aren't logging them. I think the ones that show up on conversion, like our five for the day or whatever, right. they always get logged. Right. And then we're going into the sphere and going into active and just pulling names and numbers. Yeah, so and my, we, we're putting in our notes everything that happened, but we're not actually saying on there that we called. So the one piece that I'd probably talk to you about on that is, number one, I get it, you know, and you're doing it, you, you've got your system in place mm -hmm. and stuff like that, but wouldn't it be nice to have one place for all these notes and call logs mm -hmm. and things like that? And I can provide this for you. But again, uh, so that's kind of what I'm looking at is make sure that we're getting our outbound calls. Uh, and and making and more outbound calls. We're going to get more inbound calls and that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. so we're going to go through that. Um, and then this breaks it down on buyer leads and seller leads and that kind of stuff. So those are some of the things that I'm looking at. Now let's go to a dashboard, for instance, and let's look at what we would do for. And we've talked about how to enter lead. Does that make sense? And. Um, my dashboard, I'm on my dashboard, hi Chris, and it says that I have five calls to make. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to click that button mm -hmm. and then it's going to lead me, lead me right to the, the people that I need to call. And then as I'm calling them, I'm going to click one of these numbers. It's either a bad phone number and that will wipe out the number of calls that is scheduled for this because we figured out it's a bad number. Mm -hmm. I'm either going to click not home. Normally what I do is I try and get them by land, air, and sea. So I'm going to send them some kind of piece of letter or mail or something like that. I'm going to hit them through a phone call. I'm going to try and email them, and if not, I'll text message them. And keep in mind that text messaging is the world's most common form of communication, now, either through an app like Instagram or Snapchat or, or direct messaging through like Facebook or direct um, text messaging through phone. I found that um, I get a lot more responses through text message than I do phone calls. So the public is shifting towards not answering the phone and doing some different things that way. So anyway, so I'll, so like let's say I call this guy Anthony uh, Corkitz, I guess is how you say that, and he doesn't answer. So I'm going to put in here, what would you like to do 
and it's going to direct me right to my notes, and I'm going to put in there uh, left voicemail. And then I kind of tend to abbreviate things like this, like left VM, mm -hmm. and then I'll put in there and sent text. Okay, oops, let me get my caps off. Okay, and then I'm going to add the note, and then it's going to ask me what do I want to do. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to schedule another call. Now again, I'm going to put the same thing in, call number one. Uh, let me back that up. Call number one, left voicemail, and text. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a call date. Maybe I wanna call them in a week, so I'm gonna schedule this out for a week from today. And again, a lot of, for us, what we've realized is we do eye calls on Wednesday nights from four to six, so a lot of my calls I set up on Wednesdays. So I'm gonna set this up for next Wednesday. July? Yeah, July 10th or whatever it is. Let me look at that again. We're right here, right? We're 29th. 29th, yeah, so maybe I'll set it up for next Wednesday the 7th. Uh, and then, uh, so the way the system works is that, and this is the way I do it, is that if I put that, so that this time automatically defaults for when you're on conversion. So if I'm on it at 1.30 in the afternoon, it's going to default to 1.30 in the afternoon. I, if I miss that call, let's say I decide to make my calls at 5 o'clock that night, right? So one of the things, I, it, it'll, it'll force me as a missed call. So what I always do is I make sure I set this back to the end of the day to make sure I got all day to make that call if my schedule demands that I do something different. So I might put it in there at 6.30 p.m., okay? And then I'm gonna sync it to my Google Calendar. I'll get an email reminder that I owe this guy a call and on, on the 7th of August. So then here's a piece that I try and do. Now I'm a big subscriber in the 444 method, so it's four calls a week for four weeks until they answer and then if they don't answer you know what try, just trying to prompt them on on uh, responding and then it'll be four calls one a week for four weeks and then it's four calls one a month for four months so first thing I'm going to do is set up my repeat calls and I'm going to sit in here and I'm going to go I'm going to make four call oh whoops way too fast it'd be nice to have a mouse pad here four calls there you go <laughs> Four calls, and then uh, let me get rid of this. And over a period of one week, okay? You can dial that down. I'm pretty aggressive with it, but you wanna make sure that you're scheduling that. And then we're gonna add a call, and then we're gonna add our calls. So there it is again. And again, keep in mind that once I've done all that, then I'm gonna go back, and this is what I do. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna say, what would you like to do? And I wanna send this guy a text. So I'm doing what I, the note that I did. So I do it all in one shot. Hey buddy, just thinking about you, whatever the text might be, in correspondence with the lead. So that is how I do my calls. And then I continue to go through it. <coughs> once in a while you get a bad number, once in a while you get a hold of them, whatever it is. But anyway, those are some of the things I'll do. Can I ask a question about yeah. the text messaging? Will that somehow sync to your SMS program on your phone or not? Meaning? Like, so the way that'll work, uh, let me see if I'm answering your question. So you text through conversion, okay? And you're actually texting through the smart number. So you're texting, they'll get a, they'll get a text from 480-428-1781. That's our smart number. Right. They'll respond to it. When that response comes back, or in an email, or whether it's a phone call or whatever, when that response comes back, it'll have that phone number on there that it was driven from. So it'll have that client's phone number, text message from 602-12345, right? Right. And what conversion will do is that it'll find that number, it'll recognize it as Regina's lead, and that response will come right back to you. It won't be distributed out. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. And that happens in an email too. Conversion yeah. has the ability to find out where that email address was originated from. So and it, we got one today. Now what I will tell you is you cannot <coughs> respond to that text message. Right. You can't respond to Joe the client through the, the smart number. Right. So you'll have to we'll click on that. Conversion. You'll have to go back into conversion or click on the phone number or that that pops up. Yeah. 
and do something through there. Um, so that that does do that that way. Does that make sense? So that's that's the big piece. Um, and then what you can do is again, once you put in your notes, you'll be able to refer back to your notes, and it says, "Hey, uh, schedule first call, left a voicemail, text, created 729." And then you can look at your schedule. On 88, I have a call. That's uh, 87, I have a call, 88, I have a call, 89, I have a call. Those are the four calls that I've scheduled, and 810, and then you go from there. So then after that, I might throw in an edit here that says, put them on weekly calls, that type of thing, for you know the next week. Uh, next calls I schedule will be one a week for four weeks, and that kind of thing. So we know that we're hitting them enough time. Keep in mind that they're not gonna respond generally speaking, till the seventh, eighth, or ninth touch. Now I'm reading data that says as many as 12 touches, so keep that in mind. So you wanna be kind of out there, and that keeps a good idea for it. And then if they reply, you'll, you'll get a, a correspondence, you'll see some things in here where they, you know, and I've already set up their drip. See where the outbound messages are going? And one of the things that I did when I set him up was um, profile. We can go to this, and I click on the button down here that says send monthly valuations. Mm -hmm. That's why he's getting those. So when you go back to the correspondence, it'll say in there. Just letting you know this month you're home at da 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 da, because I've entered him as a, mm -hmm. is worth 319,000. This is computer generated number, so don't take it to heart if the number doesn't correspond with reality. Feel free to give me a seat. So I've clicked that button to make sure that he's getting some good drips and things like that. He's getting a monthly evaluation. Is that a template letter or just, is that what every one of us gets or do we have to be, click that button that's under there? Yeah, when you click that button, send monthly evaluation. Right, this is pre-populated. Yeah. yeah, this is canned. <clears throat> gotcha. In another word, it's canned. Mm -hmm. So, but it'll be personally branded well, to I you. I like it though. I like filling the human factors, you know. Yeah, it'll be personally branded to you It'll definitely be personally addressed to him. Mm -hmm. So, yes. And I can show you some other examples of that. If I go to my hashtags and I go to, oh, say, <coughs> let me find one up here. How about Green Street? So there's a Green Street lead. Uh, and most of these have, I've clicked it, I've intentionally clicked on monthly evaluation, but sometimes I forget that, but we can go to profile. And I, I have not, so I click on that and update it. From there. And they'll get the same thing addressed to Ray and Rizan, Rizan, I guess how you say that. So that's what I do. Um, so keep that in mind. And the way that I do that is when I fill in their profile, well, that's why it's not giving them a weekly update because I have no property address. Mm -hmm. But when you fill in the property address, it'll do it. Now, that, that's why it's not clicking yes. Update profile, it'll come back and say no because there's no property address for us. Yeah, so you can go back and do find one that I've got an address on. 